Hello and welcome, Tiger fans, to another Maslin Tiger football game here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. I'm your host, Darren Washington, along with Kira Sheely. And for tonight's matchup, we have Maslin versus St. Vincent St. Mary's. It should be a good one, right, Kira? Oh, absolutely. Now, some key things about St. Vincent St. Mary's is they're a big team having many athletes come out of their program. They are 5-3 and three and have many players going on to do good things in college. And they also have LeBron James as one of their alumni. Most of you probably know that. And some key things about Maslin, they are 6-2 and two, defeating Akron Firestone, which was a very great game. But tonight, in my eyes, it's a must win for the Tigers against St. Vincent St. Mary's. Everyone here at WHS TV would like to thank the following sponsors for their financial support of our TV broadcast. Reliable Heating and Cooling, Danbury Senior Living, Cosmos Grill, Maslin AAA, Expert Auto Collision, Tower Industries, John George's Convenience Store, Discount Tire Outlet, Friends and Family Credit Union, Maslin YMCA, Home Appliance, Wrinkle and Reese Motorcars, Downtown Maslin Association, Barney's and Graver's Gallery, Medicap Pharmacy, Buffalo Wild Wings, Howard's Tiger Eggs, Absolute Concrete, Buell and Oliveira Insurance, Masson Quick Print, Mercy Medical Center, Stark State College, the Masson Museum, and MCTV. We'll be right back to the first quarter action, but first, a word from Danbury Senior Living. You'll find a vibe. Vibrant. Life enriching community at Danbury Senior. Senior living. All the comforts of home. Great performance by the Maslin Tiger Swing Band. And thank you, Danbury Senior Living. We are getting ready to start the, four, the first quarter here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. A lot of healthy players out here tonight. Zion Pfeiffer had a little bit of a scare two weeks ago, sitting out at the Firestone game. But it's nice to see him back. We also have Ty Kearns playing tonight. It should be a good game tonight. Both teams have similar records. But um, for the Tigers tonight, to have the edge on McKinley, this is a very must-win situation. And we're actually gonna run back to Danbury Senior Living real quick. Senior living. All the comforts of home and more awaits you. From our variety of beautiful apartments to chef prepared meals in our outstanding dining room to creative recreational activities. 
Danbury Senior Living optimizes independence, wellness, and privacy while always being mindful of each resident's preferences for healthy, respectful aging. You'll have friendships, fellowships, and lots of fun at Danbury Senior Living. The lifestyle you desire and deserve. Discover the Danbury difference. Thank you very, very much, Danbury Senior Living. We are back here, about to get into some first quarter action. We have the Tigers receiving tonight. St. Vincent St. Mary's kicking off. We've got Tyree Broyles and Anthony Ballard in the backfield to field this one. Tyree Broyles is new back there. Most of the time, Dyson Berry's out there, but for certain off the field reasons, he's not on the field tonight. And Anthony Ballard's going to field it here on the 10 yard line and taking it up the sideline gets to about the 40 yard line. Very nice run by Anthony Ballard. Now, a lethal returner. He has a 75 yard kick return on Warren. And he's just a very fast and locked down corner. He will be essential for this game on defense. But now on offense, we got Aiden Longwell in the backfield with Jameer Thomas. We've got three receivers out there. And they're going to give it to Jameer. And he gets a couple yards there. The Tigers always establishing the run game early. Looks like a little bit of a checking formations and things like that from the refs. I think they thought Masson had too many players on the field. But second down and eight now, ball on the 42 yard line. Jaden Ballard in motion and they're gonna give it to Ballard. Ballard going to the 50, the 40, and gets knocked out of bounds. What a nice run by the freshman. Jaden Ballard. He's got two touchdowns this season. And for a freshman, that's pretty good. As you can see, he breaks away to the left side, gets hit out of round, bounds around the 41 yard line, 39 yard line. Just a nice run by Jaden Ballard there. And they're gonna give him a motion again, fake the handoff. Looking deep to Kutcher, and that one could have been picked off there. Very nice intentions by Aiden Longwell, but he was double covered there, so there wasn't too much you could do, but another thing about Aiden Longwell is he has no interceptions this year. That is very good for only a sophomore quarterback. Now three receivers, Trayvon Morgan on the right. And they're gonna give it to Jameer Thomas. And he gets about five yards on that one. That'll be, that'll bring up third down, ball on the 36 yard line. Yeah, third and seven here. We have twins receivers right, and Trayvon Morgan all alone on the left. And they're gonna give it to Jameer Thomas again. And looks like he got the first down there. Not sure yet. Might have been short. But as you can see here, Jameer Thomas establishing the run game early. And that is now fourth and one. Ball on the 30. Maslin's gonna go for it here. Looks like they're just gonna try to run the ball here. We got a penalty on the play here. Offside. 
and it was a little bit of a false start there on St. Vincent St. Mary's. So now that'll bring up first and 10, ball on the 25 for the Tigers. Very well played by the Tigers. First and 10, let's see what they can do here and they give it to Jameer Thomas again. Break it away up the middle. Gets about five yards on that one. Nice solid run. As you can see right up the middle. Same formation. And they give it to Jameer Thomas again. Gets spun out of a tackle. That'll bring up third, third down now. Ball on the 18 yard line. Third and two, let's see what they can do here. They got Austin Kutcher and Trayvon Morgan on the right. And they're gonna give it to Jaden Ballard. And he gets stopped quickly there. That'll bring up fourth down. Now fourth and five, ball on the 20. And the Tigers, it looks like they're gonna go for it here on fourth and five. They've got Austin Kutcher and Adric Ford on the left, Trayvon Morgan on the right. We've got a timeout Maslin here. And here's a quick word from John Georges. One of the most recognizable names in Maslin is John Georges drive through Their fresh-made deli sandwiches are well known throughout the Maslin area. John Georges will make special order lunches for your group or outing using only the finest ingredients. John Georges has a large selection of snacks, drinks, and much more for a quick in and out. If you're really in a hurry, use John Georges convenient drive through service. Stop by John Georges drive through located at 32nd Street and Lincoln Way West. Thank you very much, John Georges. And we are back here if you're just tuning in. Tied up at zero here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, but it's currently fourth down and five ball on the 20 yard line. Tigers are going for it here. Let's see what they can do here. And they're gonna fake the handoff to Jameer Thomas and they get Austin Kutcher, tries to make a little move, but I think that'll be short there. And nope, that'll be a first and 10 for the Tigers. As you can see, or they fake the handoff, throw it to Aiden Longwell. Kutcher tries to make a move, but gets stopped out of bounds. But very nice play by the Tigers. And now, as you can see here, Jameer Thomas gets stopped in the backfield here. Good defense by St. Vincent St. Mary's there. They read that one pretty well. Now second and 10 ball on the 12-yard line. Morgan all alone on the right side. And a fake handoff to Jaden Ballard there. And Jameer Thomas stopped again quickly. That'll bring up third down now. It looks like St. Vincent St. Mary's is really trying to shut down the run game for the Tigers tonight. Now four receivers. Aiden Longwell and Jameer Thomas in the backfield. Longwell looking to pass. Goes right across the middle to Kutcher and he in, gets it incomplete there. 
Nice play. But now, looks like the Tigers are gonna go for a field goal here. Clay Mole attempting it here. Good snap and it's good. The score here now at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium is Maslin 3, St. Vincent, St. Mary 0. And now here's a quick word, Bonnie's Engravers Gallery. For nearly 20 years, Bonnie's Engravers Gallery and Signs in downtown Maslin has been your one-stop shopping destination for all things printing. Whether it be small projects like business cards, coffee mugs, and plaques, or larger items like personalized vital cutouts or full-color digital and printing. Their laser engraver is perfect for name tags and desk plates, and don't forget their large selection of trophies and photo frames. Once Bonnie's has your business logo, they can put it on just about anything. You can even bring in your own items to have personalized. Stop in today at Bonnie's Engravers Gallery and Signs. In nature, red means danger. The red dart frog, deadly. The red mamba, deadly. Those red triangles on a black widow, you see where we're going with this. So when you foolishly think this is an opportunity to make a name for yourself, remember both nature and our menu warned you. So maybe pick a color more pleasing to your fragile palette. Maybe suggest something in the green to yellowish section. Thank you to both Bonnie's Engravers Gallery and Buffalo Wild Wings. We are back here, score three to zero at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium's Tigers leading as they just kicked off to St. Vincent St. Mary's. And now St. Vincent St. Mary's offense is gonna come out here and show us what they're working with tonight. Maslin had a pretty strong drive but St. Vincent St. Mary's was stopping the run game pretty quickly. So let's see what they have on offense. Number nine, Luke Lindley back to pass, and they give it to number 34, Terrence Keyes there. Very nice running back for St. Vincent St. Mary's. As you can see here, a very good handoff play to Terrence Keyes, and he gets the first down. Now first and 10, ball on the 27 yard line. Two receivers on the right, one on the left here. Looking back to pass, Lindsey. And it gets caught at the 37 yard line. Number 11, Jalen Ross on the reception. Again, two receivers on the right, one on the left. And they're gonna give it to Terrence Keyes again there. Now third and three, ball on the 34 yard line for St. Vincent St. Mary's. And a false start here on Maslin. Both teams having early false starts.
Now first and 10 ball in the 39 for St. Vincent St. Mary's. Let's see what they can do here. Under center, Lindy. And a low throw to number five, Scott Walter. Incomplete there. Now second and 10 ball in the 39 for St. Vincent St. Mary's. And it looks like St. Vincent St. Mary's gonna take a timeout here. And let's hear from Medicap Pharmacy. Hi, I'm Chris Kingsbury, and welcome to Medicap Pharmacy. Everyone knows it's the people that make the difference at your local Medicap Pharmacy. Oh, yes, I've been coming here for 15 years. Oh, they're so friendly. You walk in and they know you, they call you by name. Well, this is my drugstore. I don't live too far, and they're nice people. And don't forget about their free delivery. Support your locally owned independent Medicap Pharmacy, located on Lincoln Way West in Maslin. Big thank you for Medicap Pharmacy. And we are back here if you are just tuning in. The score is Tigers 3, St. Vincent, St. Mary's 0. And St. Vincent, St. Mary's has the ball here. It's second and 10, ball on the 39 yard line. They've got four receivers, three on the right. Lindsay in the shotgun formation. And they're gonna hand it off here. Keys gets stopped there. Now, that'll bring up third down and 10. Ball on the 44 yard line. Same formation here, but they're gonna throw it this time. Lindsay looking to pass, and the Tigers were all over that one. Very good coverage. That'll now bring up fourth down and five, and it looks like St. Vincent St. Mary's gonna come out here and punt it. Austin Kutcher and Anthony Ballard in the backfield to return this one. Again, normally it'd be Dyson Berry. But looks like Ballard's gonna come back and cover. A lot of moving around from both teams there. Both trying to read each other. And St. Vincent St. Mary's gonna go back here for uh, delaying the play clock. So St. Vincent St. Mary's gonna try to come out here and be strategic tonight. And they are going to punt it here. And they're gonna give it to Anthony Ballard and he's going to take it here. Big block there, but it looks like they're having a flag on the play. Ballard gets it to about the 41 yard line, but there's two flags down. Must have been an illegal hit. As you can see there, a nice run by Anthony Ballard. And 
Now first and 10 ball on the 16 yard line. Must have been an illegal block there. I didn't get too good of a look. But now the Tigers are on offense here. Jameer Thomas and Aiden Longwell in the backfield. Three receivers. And another flag. Snap infraction, 52, offense, A five snap yard penalty. infraction, I haven't down. heard of that one. I haven't heard of that one either. Yeah, I haven't heard of that one this year. But now first and 15, ball on the 11 yard line now. And they're gonna give it to Jameer Thomas. He goes straight up the middle there. Gets about five, six yards on that one. That'll bring up now second and 10 pretty much. Ball in the 16 yard line. Three minutes and 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Now second and 10. Aiden Longwell looking to pass. Gets it to Trayvon Morgan and gets pushed out of bounds at around the 25 yard line. Nice play by Trayvon Morgan. And again, look at the accuracy of Aiden Longwell getting it to Trayvon Morgan. Most of his balls are very well thrown. Now first and 10 ball on the 26 yard line. Aiden Longwell back with Jameer Thomas. They're gonna fake the handoff, give it to Austin Kutcher. And Kutcher gets to about the 30 yard line there. Nice screen pass by the Tigers. Now second and one, second and six, I'm sorry, ball on the 30 yard line. Again, second and six ball on the 30 yard line. Kutcher in motion. Longwell looking to pass. Throws it deep to Ford. And deflected by number 13, Joshua Jones for St. Vincent St. Mary's. Well played coverage by St. Vincent St. Mary's there. Now third down and six, ball still on the 30 yard line. We have about two minutes and 30 seconds left in the first quarter. Longwell back looking, scrambling, throws a ball and it's gonna be out of bounds. Incomplete pass, that'll bring up fourth and six. They're gonna punt it here. Um, well played possession by the Tigers still. But now they're gonna punt it back to uh, number five, Scott Walter for St. Vincent St. Mary's here. And there's the punt, a little bit of a short punt there. And Tyree Broyles gets it down there at around the 42 yard line there. Now first and 10 for the Irish. Let's see what they can do here on offense. Still has no score here. Both teams playing very good defense tonight. Three receivers. Lindsay under center. And they're gonna give it to Keys there. 
gets a couple yards on that one. Nice tackle by Dean Clark there. Now second and five ball on the 47 yard line. About one minute and 50 seconds left here in the first quarter. And they're gonna give it to Walters there, number five. And he's gonna get the first down there. Nice run there by number five, Scott Walter. As you can see here on the replay, breaks, it was a nice jet sweep play. Nice run to the left side, getting them that first down. Three receivers out there, or I mean four receivers out there. Three on the right, and another handoff. A flag out. I'm not sure what the flag was, but it was thrown a little bit before the initial hit. We'll hear from the referees to determine. I'm not sure they did not announce the flag on the play, but now first and 14 for St. Vincent St. Mary's ball on the 49. Lindsay under center, and they're going to hand it off to Keys. Keys gets to around the 40 yard line, steps out of bounds. Very nice run. St. Vincent St. Mary's under center a lot here tonight. Not used to that type of play here. As Maslin's more of a shotgun type of offense. Now second and four, ball on the 41 yard line. Let's see what St. Vincent St. Mary's got has in store. Three receivers, and they're gonna give it to Keys. Looks like he's gonna get the first and 10 here. Now ball on the 36 yard line. We only have about 36 seconds left here of first quarter football. And we have another flag here. Akris AV called their second timeout. No penalty here on the play. It's actually a timeout from St. Vincent St. Mary's. And here's a quick word from Buell and Oliveri Insurance. If you're like most people, your life is a series of brush strokes, large and small. Moments from the everyday to the extraordinary. As you move through your world, let Grange Insurance and an independent agent put the finishing touches on an insurance plan to meet your needs. Now, that's a stroke of genius. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange Independent Agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today.
and a big thanks to Buell and Olive Air Insurance and Tower Industries. If you are just joining us, the score here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium is Tigers 3, Irish 0. And it's now second and 10 ball in the 36 yard line. You just missed a play by St. Vincent St. Mary's. It was a pass intended for number five, Scott Walters, and it was incomplete. So now second and 10 ball in the 36. Lindsay under center, they're gonna give it to Keys. Keys breaking away to the left side. And he was still standing there. It did not look like he was down, but they're gonna stop the play there around the 30, 35 yard line. But that will be the end of the first quarter here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. Score Tigers three, Irish zero. And heading into the second quarter, we'll have a word from Absolute Concrete. At veteran owned Absolute Concrete of Maslin, we do it! Looking to replace that old worn out driveway? We do it! Thinking about a new patio to entertain family and friends? We do it! Big jobs? Small jobs? Customer satisfaction and quality you've come to expect? We do it! So call veteran-owned Absolute Concrete a Massa today! We were with Ruth when she ran into trouble on her way to play bridge with her friends. We were with the Nelsons when they planned their vacation of a lifetime. We were with Tina when she saved on the prescription she and her family need. And we'll be there with you. AAA membership gets you this, plus savings at hotels, restaurants, stores, and attractions when you show your card. Already a member? Renew. Not a member? Join AAA at AAA.com or any nearby office. AAA, we're always with you. All righty, thank you, Absolute Concrete and Mass and AAA. And here we are in the second quarter. Yes, here we are in the second quarter. The score now here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium is Tigers 3, Irish 0. Five-yard penalty, second down. And it looks like St. Vincent St. Mary's going back a couple yards. They were intending to make the Tigers jump, and then they jumped. So now third and 13 ball on the 39-yard line for St. Vincent St. Mary's. And Lindsay looking back to pass. They're gonna throw it to Keys. Keys trying to break away. Doesn't get past too much there. And the play's dead, but it looked like a fumble to St. Vincent St. Mary's there. As you can see here, Keys gets hit and then the ball comes out and St. B was all over it but the play was already dead. Keys had already hit the ground before the ball came out. But now fourth down and nine ball on the 35 yard line and St. Vincent St. Mary's is going to punt it maybe. And Tigers call a timeout here. And during this timeout, we're gonna have a word from Downtown Maslin Association. Proud to put the spotlight on Maslin, your Downtown Maslin Association features a variety of community events throughout the year. Events the entire family can enjoy. From our Summer Fun Fest to the Tiger Pep Rally, Santa's Cottage and Light Up Downtown, plus our partnership with Maslin Main Street for the annual Holiday Parade. To find out more about who we are, Visit us online at www.downtownmaslin.net. And thank you, Downtown Maslin Association. We are back here. If you are just joining us, the score here is Tigers 3, Irish 0. And now... Here's the punt. And
And it looks like it's going to be... I'm not quite sure where it's down at. And it's... It looks like it's on the one-yard line. And yes, it's going to be on the one-yard line here. Not a great place for the Tigers to be is in their own end zone. So let's see what they can do here. And they're going to give it to Jameer Thomas. And it looks like they're going to get he's going to get some forward progress there. Now a second down and nine, ball on the two-yard line. Two receivers out there. And the Tigers are going to run it. A spin move. And that'll a good gain of about six to seven yards there. Nice run. To me, it's a pretty uh, risky move for the Tigers to run the ball in their own end zone. Most of the time you'd see a pass in that situation. But now third down and one, ball on the 10 yard line. Long well back, and he's gonna give it to Jameer Thomas again. He goes up the middle, and he's getting the first down there. Nice run play by the Tigers tonight. As you can see, same old, same old, straight up the middle by the Tigers. First and 10 ball on the 15 yard line and another false start it seems like. Not sure on who. And they're going to call offsides on the offense here. The Tigers will be moving back a couple yards. Now first and 15 ball in the 10. And they're going to give it to Thomas, it looks like. Number 31, Preston Hodges on the carry there. That's the first time he's been out there this season. And Longwell looking to pass. Goes to Trayvon Morgan and it goes out of bounds there. Now third and 13. Ball on the 12 yard line. Tyree Broyles is a receiver now. Four receivers out there. Longwell looking to bat, looking to pass here. And it's deflected, it looks like. And now the punting team will come out here. Down 
Magnus Haynes kick punting it here. And they're going to down it at the 41 yard line. Let's see what St. Vincent St. Mary's can do on offense here. Now first and 10 ball in the 41 for St. Vincent St. Mary's. Three receivers out there. Quick pass to Scott Walters there. Makes a hurdle and he's going to pick up the first down there. Nice move by uh, Scott Walter there. As you can see here, a nice hurdle. Now three receivers, Lindsay under their center. And they're gonna give it to Markel Cook there, number 20. Breaks away to the right side and gets stopped. Trips on the left, one on the right, and they give it to Markel Cook here. Doesn't get too many on that one. That'll bring up third down now. Third down and five ball on the 25 yard line. Three receivers on the left, one on the right. Lindsey in the shotgun, looking to pass. Throws a deep ball and it goes out of bounds there. Intended for number 11, Jalen Ross. An overthrown ball by Lindsey there. Fourth down and five. They're gonna go for it here. Lindsay under center, and he's gonna run it, and he gets stopped. Nice defensive effort by the Tigers here tonight. And that'll be a turnover on downs. The, off the offense is coming out here now. Now three receivers out there. Two on the right, one on the left. And they're gonna give it straight up the middle there. I'm not sure about the running back. I think it's number 31, Preston Hodges, and it is. They don't have Zion Pfeiffer out there. Now Jaden Ballard and Trayvon Morgan on the left. One on the right, and they're going to give it to Ballard. Ballard gets in trouble and is stopped at around the line of scrimmage there. That's 
Now third and nine. Ball on the 26 yard line for the Tigers. Kutcher and Ford on the left. Morgan on the right. Can't quite see who that is. I think that's Tyree Broyles. Longwell looking, and it's too far there. Intended for Trayvon Morgan. Now fourth and nine, ball in the 26. And the Tigers are gonna punt it here. Haynes is punting it here. And Walters is gonna take a fair catch. Now 4.50 to go in the first half. Ball now on the 39 yard line. First and 10 for St. Vincent St. Mary's. Lindsay in the shotgun. Most of the game he's been under center. They've got Ross in motion. They're gonna give it to Ross. Ross looking to throw, and it's too far. What a nice play, but though by St. Vincent St. Mary's. A little bit of trickery there. But that was very good defense. Having double coverage on one of their receivers. Now second and 10 ball on the 39 yard line for St. Vincent St. Mary's. Lindsay looking to pass. Goes right across the middle and broken up by Anthony Ballard there. What a nice hit there. Now third and 10 ball on the 39 yard line. Third down and 10 ball on the 39 yard line. We have about four minutes and 40 seconds left here of first half football. Lindsay looking around and an interception. What a nice play there by the Tigers. And that was number 38, Max Turner, his second interception of the season. What a nice interception there. The Tiger defense is out here working tonight. Hand off to Thomas and he's gonna go straight up the middle. And touchdown, Tigers. I'm still stuck on the interception. I got chills when that happened. I yeah, so did I. That, I mean, that was just incredible, absolutely gorgeous. As you can see here, Jameer Thomas just taking it straight up the middle to get the touchdown. But what, a, what an amazing defensive effort by Max Turner. Now for the point after, Clay Mole, and he's gonna get it there. Now at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium, the score is Tigers 10, Irish 0. And now here's a quick word from Discount Tire Outlet. 
Indians fans. Discount Tire Outlet Tire Pros is a proud partner of the Cleveland Indians. Now through October 31st, you can win great tire brands like General. Just register at Discount Tire Outlet Tire Pros online at MyDiscountTireOutlet.com or on Facebook for your chance to win a $500 General gift certificate or a Terry Francona autographed baseball. All tires and automotive service are backed by Tire Pros nationwide warranty, including roadside assistance coverage. Call the pros. Discount Tire Outlet Tire Pros. At Friends and Family Credit Union, you, the members, are the owners. Our friendly staff serves over 11,000 members, assisting with their financial needs and bettering their lifestyles. Hello, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. Are you looking for something different? Stop in today to become a friend of the family. All right, and a big thanks to both Discount Tire Outlet and Friends and Family Credit Union. And we are back here. The score here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium is Tigers 10, Iris 0. But an interesting thing is on the north side, we have Garyon Conley, Devin Smith, and Bobby Conley all going to big colleges. Garyon Conley is now in the NFL and plays for the Raiders and Devin Smith playing for the New York Jets. So it's nice to see them here tonight. Some fellow alumni, nice to see them here tonight to witness this game. Now first and 10 on the 35 yard line for the Irish. Lindsey back and they're gonna hand it off there to Keys. Keys getting past a couple Tigers there and gets stopped around the 40 yard line. Nice run by Keys. Now second and four ball on the 41 yard line. We have about three minutes and 40 seconds left here in the second quarter. They give it to Keys. Keys gets to around the 46, 47 yard line there. Nice run by Keys. Now first and 10 for the Irish. Ball on the 47 yard line. Lindsey back under center. And he's going to pass it here. And almost intercepted by Austin Kutcher there. And the quarterback for St. Vincent St. Mary's there was actually Ryan Fisher. Kutcher, Kutcher broke that one up, but really wanted the interception there. He was beating himself up after that one. Wow, we just almost had a blackout up here in the press box. Kira, what do you think about that? It was a little bit spooky. Yeah. That almost time for Halloween here, so yeah. I guess it's kind of fitting. Now third down and 10 ball on the 47 yard line for St. Vincent St. Mary's. Third and 14, ball on the 43 yard line. Three receivers to the right, none on the left. And Fisher back to pass. And he connects. Number 17, Zachary Olson on the reception. As you can see here, Fisher gets a nice ball across the middle. Nice play there. Now fourth and one, ball on the 44 yard line. St. Vincent, St. Mary's is gonna go for this one. 
They've got Walters on the left only. Lindsay under center. And it looks like we have an offsides play here. And St. Vincent, St. Mary's is gonna go back a couple yards here. Now about two minutes left here in the second quarter. Now fourth down and six. St. Vincent St. Mary's is gonna punt the ball here. Back to Anthony Ballard, number 21, and number three, Austin Kutcher. Again, the Tigers are just playing exceptional defense tonight on St. Vincent St. Mary's, who has many skill players on the offensive side. So a very high punt there. And it's going to bounce out of bounds there. Now first and 10, ball on the 30 yard line. One minute and 27 seconds left here in the second quarter. The band getting ready on the sidelines. Let's see what the Tigers have here on offense. They've got four receivers, twins on each side. Longwell back to throw. Gets it to Trayvon Morgan. I'm pretty sure he got that, and he did. Gets it to about the 37-yard line there. That'll bring up second and three. But as you can see, a nice catch by Trayvon Morgan there. Now second and three, ball in the 37-yard line. We have about a minute left of first half football. Longwell back to throw and fires and he overthrows that one a little bit. Now third down and three ball on the 37 yard line. Four receivers on the right, one on the left. It's obvious they're gonna pass this one. And Aiden Longwell looks like he's gonna run it and he doesn't. He runs out of bounds there. That'll bring up now fourth and three. Ball on the 37 yard line. Only have about 50 seconds left here. Let's see what the Tigers do. Looks like they're gonna pump the football. Punts it here. And Walters is gonna field it. And he's going backwards. He's getting in trouble and gets stopped in the backfield. Now only 37 seconds left here on the clock for some first half football. see what the defensive unit can do here for 37 seconds. Now they have four receivers out there. And Fisher looking and it's incomplete there. Now, now only 33 seconds left. Thank you. 
Now second and one. I mean, second and ten. Ball on the 34-yard line. Again, four receivers. Lindsey under center. I mean, Fisher under center. And Keys dragging a couple of Tigers. That'll bring up third down now. Now third down and two ball on the 42 yard line. Four receivers. Fisher back looking and it's blocked there. Nice play there by Ty Kearns, number 57. But that will be the end of the first half here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. The score is Tigers 10, Irish 0. Tiger Swing Band after a word from our sponsors. Hi, my name is Jim Stanford. I'd like to welcome you to the Maslin Family YMCA. Come on inside, let's take a look around. There are many reasons to join the Y. Building endurance, losing weight, strengthening your heart. When you join the Y, you're committing to more than simply becoming healthier. You are supporting the values and programs of strength in our community. At the Y, children learn what they can achieve, and we all build relationships that deepen our sense of belonging. We've been a part of the community for over 100 years. Maslin City Schools is proud to have one of the top career technical education programs in the state of Ohio, recently receiving a number one ranking of the 93 districts in the area of achievement. Our career technical education department offers 14 pathways preparing students for college and careers. All students have the opportunity to participate and compete in their career technical student organization, as well as obtain valuable experience in the field while earning aligned industry credentials and or college credit in high school. Visit MaslinSchools.org for more information. Financing, financing, financing. If you need a great deal and great financing to go with it, Rankle and Reese Motor Cars is the right choice for you. We specialize in great deals, great cars and trucks, great service, and yes, great financing. From low interest rates to 72 months financing, we will ensure you get the lowest payment possible. Bad credit, good credit, or rebuilding your credit. Let us help you get the right deal and the right financing at Rankle and Reese Motor Cars. When others want to say no, we want to say yes. Rankle and Reese Motor Cars on West Tuscan Canton or RankleandReeseMotorCars.com. Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. And a quick thanks to Masson YMTA, Masson City Schools, Ringo and Reese Motor Cars. And we're about to see our beloved Masson Tiger Swing Band take the stage.
after the senior show. I hope you all really enjoyed. And now we have Mr. Palma, the CTE director, joining us here. How are you, Mr. Palma? I'm happy to be back with you, Darren. I'm liking this game so far. We're playing, we're getting, playing some defense tonight, aren't we? Yeah, definitely. All right. All right. We will, be, we will be back with some third quarter action after this word from Reliable Heating and Cooling and Howard's Tiger Rags. Everything that goes into a Lennox system is engineered for absolute comfort. Like the parts that create your perfect temperature and humidity. Or the parts that purify the air. Together, all these parts save you up to half off your heating and cooling bills. And there are few things more comforting than that. The future of home comfort is here now at Reliable Heating and Cooling. Get the latest innovation and technology at Reliable. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Howard's Tiger Rags in downtown Maslin has the best selection of Tiger apparel in the area. And this year, Howard's Tiger Rags is the proud sponsor of The Swing TV show on WHS-TV. Get the latest football t-shirts available in short and long sleeves, along with great looking hoodies. And don't forget about their infant and toddler apparel. See their large selection of memorabilia along with mugs and glasses. Need a tiger hat? Howard's has dozens. And see their prom apparel as well. Stop in at Howard's Tiger Rags in downtown Maslin and like them on Facebook. We are back here. Thank you, Reliable Heating and Cooling and Howard's Tiger Rags. Now here's the kickoff. And stopped around the 35 there. Yeah, nice return there for St. V. Good kick by Clay. Kicked it down inside the five. Just good return. Starting off about the 35 yard line here, Darian. So, so a little bit about the first half. Playing some great defense. Coach McConnell uh, rotating a lot of guys. Excited to see that in the first half. But we got to keep this thing going in the second half. First drive's critical. Oh yeah, it's it's been great defense here tonight and. For me, what turned it around was the interception by Max yeah, Turner, absolutely. number big 38. Play. Big play. Almost had another one with the. Uh... Now it's a deep pass wow. and deflected there. 
So this, this kid start, you know, Max, Max is starting to really come into this corner position. He's made some plays the last couple weeks, made some plays last week against Firestone. He's long, he's rangy, can run pretty well. He's, uh, he's done a real nice job for as a junior, so it's nice to see that. Like I said, you're seeing some new guys over the last couple weeks developing on defense so we can keep this thing going. Yeah, now we hear we have second and 10 ball on the 35 yard line and Fisher's going to give it to Keys. Keys going straight up the middle and gets to around the 45 yard line. Terrence Keys is doing pretty well tonight for yeah. St. Vincent yeah, that's St. Just Mary. Your, your, your basic isolation play. Our front side linebacker Logan and I did a nice job taking the you see the replay Got to take it on a little bit more with this inside shoulder and not let that guy run outside. Gotcha. Now third down and one, ball on the 44 yard line here. Fisher under center. And it's going to be another give to Keys. And he's going to get the first down there. A lot of under center play by St. Vincent, St. Mary's tonight. We haven't seen too much of that this year. Yeah, you know, they're, a, they're an eye back team. They want to run the ball. You know, they, they throw it a little bit, they throw it around a little bit, but, uh, you know, good good starting drive here uh, for for the Irish now on our side of the ter uh, territory. So hopefully we can get a stop here on this next set of downs. Now first and 10, ball on the 49 yard line for St. Vincent, St. Mary's. And they're in the shotgun. And they're going to give it to Keys again, yeah. and he's going straight up the middle here and gets stopped around the 20-yard line. Front side counter play, kicked out the defensive end, cut it back inside. We might have overflowed a little bit too hard there with the inside backers. Ah, so we got a little, you know, Irish comes out, they respond second half. You know, they're not going to quit. This team was in it every step of the way with LaSalle last week. LaSalle's a three-time Division II state champion, so we know they're going to come out fighting. So let's see if the Tigers can uh, bow up, as the defensive coaches would say, and get a stop. Now we got Fisher under center again. They're going to give it to Keys. He's breaking off to the right side and gets stopped quickly on that one. Yeah, just, again, front side uh, isolation play. Cut that thing back. We did a nice job of stuffing it inside. And got about a three, four-yard gain, cutting the ball back. He's a nice running back. Yeah, St. Vincent, St. Mary, always, always pretty much a powerhouse team of very good. Absolutely, yeah, solid, solid athletes out of the Akron area. And, you know, they get a lot of good players over there. Well coached. Absolutely. Again, under center, Tigers Fisher. Some pressure here. They're going to fake the handoff, deep pass, and it's going to go out of bounds. But we do have a flag on the play here. We defended that pretty well. A little boot action to the field. I don't know what the call is here. A legal man downfield for, uh, looks like for the Irish. Let's see if, as you see, it just ran a, you know, just a, a boot play. Basic boot, boot play, tried to throw the flag in the corner of the end zone. The Tigers defended it pretty well. They're going to take the penalty, though. Now second and 11 ball on the 22 yard line. I'm surprised they threw it there. They've, you know, they've had a little success running the ball in this series. So uh, I, I, I'd, I'd be looking for them to run the ball here. Had some, uh, had some success with it. Let's see how, what they dial up here. Yeah. Well, yeah, throw it. They're gonna ah. throw it right across the middle to Walter. And he gets stopped around the one yard line there. Yeah, good throw and catch. Uh, you see the replay, it's just the inside vertical seams run a little dig across the middle. Safety, Austin Kutcher is just about a step late. And so the, the Irish are first and goal on a two yard line here. Most not, likely gonna run it here with keys. Yeah, not the, not the way we wanted to start the, the half, that's for sure. It just shows you how many, how missed tackles can affect the game so Absolutely much, you know. Yeah. Touchdown but there the, for the Irish. Yeah, touchdown for the Irish here now. 
you know what that does just the momentum the momentum of this game was was all on the tiger side and that's why that first drive is so critical to come out get a stop get the ball back and, and establish that that momentum again but again we knew we knew uh st vincent st mary wasn't going to quit this is a good football team here so tigers are in for the long haul oh and the point after is blocked now here at paul brown tiger stadium the score is tigers 10 irish six now we'll hear a word from home appliance at home appliance we understand choosing new appliances is sort of a big deal you do the research and we totally get that. You see, while big corporate stores may have appliance departments, we have an appliance obsession that inspires what we recommend and the services we deliver. Save big on Frigidaire Gallery Appliances. The all new Frigidaire Gallery French door refrigerator is filled with innovations that help you organize at the speed of life. It's home appliance, for real. Thank you, home appliance. We are back here me and Mr. Palma, and the score here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium is Tigers 10, Irish 6. Pleasure being up here with you, Darian. Yep, and now the Tigers are gonna field this one. A Little bit of a short kick. Couple tackles broken. And stopped around the 40 yard line. I think that was Max Turner. Max Turner, nice job fielding that short kick. He's got a little giddy up in him, so Max has had a nice couple weeks here. He's, he's clearly defined that he's a he's a varsity player, deserves to be on the field on Friday nights. Sometimes it takes a little bit of work. And he's obviously worked himself into that role, so good for him. What do you think about Jaden Ballard, the freshman? Yeah, you know, you're getting a young kid. He's, he's uh, had a couple nice plays here today, so we'll see if we can get him involved at, at all anymore here. We got four receivers. We have... Kutcher in motion there, and they're going to give it to Thomas. Breaks a couple tackles. Gets close to the first down there. Yeah, you know we didn't talk about that missed extra point. You know that's a those 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 points can can come up real big in a game like that. Uh, see the replay here. They're just running their. This is what the Tigers do. They run power, 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 power. Kick out the front side end pull the backside guard. They just do it a couple different ways. Coach Major and crew have really done a nice job with this front. Ah. We have a flag now. now. Those are the things that second and one, you got so many things you can do there. You could throw it, you can run it still. So that puts you in a tougher situation in second and six. But you know, back to that extra point, Darian. If you, for so now St. Vincent, St. Mary, they can't kick a field goal to tie the game. You know they have to score a touchdown. So that's that really helps us out there. So that's that's important. Yeah, that's that's good for the Tigers here. Now we have four receivers: Aiden Longwell back with Jameer Thomas, and they're going to give it to Thomas, and he gets wrapped up pretty quickly there, but gets stopped there. Gets a couple yards. Yeah, about and, two yards. Yeah, and you're right. They they run the power, 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 and then if they need to, they'll throw the ball and yeah. still get a quick pass. They'll they'll run that screen play with uh, Austin Kutcher a lot. Yep. Yeah, they, they got a simplified offense. They don't do a ton, but what they do, they do very well. That's why they've had so much success uh, offensively this year. I think they, they have an identity, and they're good at it. And, uh, they believe in it. So let's see what they dial up here on third and four. Big, big uh, third down play here for the Tigers. Longwell in the shotgun, and they're going to give it to Thomas there, and he gets the first down. There you go. Gets go stopped with, around go, the 45. Go with your bread and butter. And so what they do is they bring a two fullbacks. You see the full, you see the two fullbacks in here, so you don't really know which side they're going to run it to. Uh, they got a fullback on the right, fullback on the left. They run the pool. Uh, uh, the power to the left there, as you can see on that replay. Pull the backside guard, and Lucas McGuire does a nice job. And Jameer Thomas, 215 pounds, he gets it going. That's easy 10 yards for him. Now, it looks like they're going to run the same 
type of play here, and they do. They give it to Thomas, and he gets a couple yards there. Helmet comes off for, from a St. B player. Yeah, Jameer's running pretty hard here this series. Looks like he's coming out. We got They're putting Z Pfeiffer in. Yeah, Zion's coming back from an injury, so it's nice to see him come back. Yeah, it looked way scarier when at the time when it happened it did, to him. It did, so it's nice to see uh, Zion back. He's had a heck of a year, so. Yeah, it's actually having them, having Jameer and Zion trade off, it's very, very, very nice. Uh, and that's intercepted there. Yeah, you know, the St. Vincent St. Mary is a, is a very good defensive team. We've not really gotten behind them much at all this game. Um, you know, some of the short stuff has worked a little bit better, but Aiden, Aiden thought he'd take a chance. I mean, we know that Austin's a great, a great receiver. And uh, that time, uh, defensive guy won that battle. Yeah, that that was a hard-fought ball, though. It looked like Austin Kutcher and um, the cornerback for right. St. Vincent St. Mary's, they were both battling for it, yep. and well, he just good, ended up getting the, the upper hand. The one positive you could take from that is, you know, Tiger D's got great field position here, so the key to get a, a, a three and out stop here. And that's Markel Cooks there, number 20. Gets Front side a backer, yards. Logan Ananias is doing an outstanding job of that isolation play. He's hitting that fullback on the opposite side of the line of scrimmage. That's how you're supposed to play the ISO. Great job, Logan. Second and long here for the Irish. Somebody missing tonight is actually Dyson Berry for a reason I'm not sure of, but not sure, yeah. he's not in tonight. Three receivers, and they're going to give it to Cook again. And Cook gets stopped in the backfield. Yeah, just run that, that same counter play that they hit, a, hit for a long yardage play. Kaishad Mack did a nice job of once we spilled that ball outside, coming up, making a great form tackle. That's, that's how you teach it. Keep your head up, hit them low through the thigh pads, and, and run through the tackle. So third and nine here. Got to keep them. Got to keep them down inside this ten. Fisher in at quarterback here. Oh, and incomplete pass there. Yeah, you know if that if he throws that ball, well, Max Turner made a heck of a break again. Um, he he might have taken that thing to the house. So yeah, probably lucky for the Irish that was low and into the ground. So great job, way to respond. Little momentum going on the Irish way. Tigers come out, respond defensively. We should have good field position. Yeah, two great returners. We got Anthony Ballard back there with Austin Kutcher. Anthony Ballard has been a very good corner this year, not having many interceptions, but just the hits, yeah, the hard a, hits that he has. And he's been a good weapon on the special teams. He's done a nice job yeah. returning it. Short kick, get away. Short kick. Ah. Took a little bit of an Irish hop there, but we still got the ball almost around the 50. Great field position. What do you think the Tigers are going to do here, Mr. Palma? You know, they... They're not going to get fancy. They, they had some success running the ball in the last series. They'll probably do a little bit of the same. We haven't seen Zion touch it again yet. It'd be nice to see uh, how he's moving on that ankle. I think that's Hunter Anthony in motion. And they give it to Zion there. Nice yeah. run by him. It's nice having Jameer as a power back who's not really as fast but still shifty. Yeah. And then you have Zion who's just you see the, you really see the replay here. You, he's just a change of pace, running power. Lucas McGuire, he's he's that he's that that nice pulling guard. He's just a change of pace back. He's a little quicker, a little lower to the ground. 
Now Kutcher in motion. And they give it to Zion Pfeiffer there. Gets to around the 45 yard line. Let's see, we got about third and three here. Darian. Uh, I don't know if it's four down territory. Depends on what happens here on this third down play. Yeah, it's third and three. Ball on the 45 yard line. We have about three, three minutes left here in the third quarter. Longwell back, gives it to Thomas, and he gets stopped quickly there, gets tripped up. Yeah, you know, Irish got a nice defense. They, they fly around to the football. Like I said last week, Cincinnati LaSalle, three-time uh, state champion in Division II, uh, they held them to really held them to 10 points. It was 17 to nine, but from what I, the report that I studied, uh, one of those touchdowns was a defensive touchdown for, the, for LaSalle. So, you know, we got a, this is a legitimate defense here. So we gotta, we gotta match their intensity. Now Magnus Haynes going to punt it here. Nice that's high back punt. To, that's back to Scott Walter and he's gonna field it and around the, three-yard line now, and he's taking it up, gets it to around the 25-yard line. Nice return there. Yeah, he actually broke the rule. The standard rule is, you know, your heels are on the heels are on the 10 or 5, and if the ball gets over your head, you let it go, go in the end zone. But he did end up making a nice return, getting it past the 20. Could have been a little disastrous, but still, again, you know, 75 yards, pretty good field, field position for the Tiger D. Um, Pretty solid series last series, so let's see uh, again if we could, we can again continue that intensity on defense. Now first and ten for St. Vincent St. Mary's. Fisher back, and he's going to give it to Keys there, Terrence Keys. And hey, Preston get Hodges, anywhere. great job there, running the alley, uh, just sort of waiting for his fit. That was an outside zone play, and. Um, Kai shot Mack did a nice job, turned it inside. Preston fits right inside. That's that's exactly how Coach Hack and Coach McConnell teach it. So we got a nice second along here. We've got three receivers, two on the left, one on the right. Fisher under center, and he's going to keep it. Nice. And right across field. Very well defended by Austin Kutcher. Yeah, watch this replay here. You know, you, you got a good drop there, or a good uh, drop there by uh, Dean Clark on the inside, and Austin yeah. Kutcher coming from, from the backside safety position. Austin hasn't really played a lot of D all year, but you know, so like I said, we got a new, lot of new guys out there. Jameer's out there playing a little bit of defensive end. I see uh, Dion Williams playing some nose tackle. Uh, rotating a lot of guys, a lot of young guys. But, um, I, I like the game plan so far. Big third down. Now third and eight ball on the 27. Fisher looking to pass. Gets it across. And I think he got it. No, he dropped it. Oh, no, he it. dropped it. I see. Yeah, Tiger safeties are coming to hit today. Just a curl route. You know, it's really, that's a tough, sometimes that's a tough route to defend. But the safety comes up, jars the ball loose. Great job, three and out. Offense needs to respond. Here's, here's that time in the game where, you know, that's late in the third, get the ball going into the fourth quarter. If we go down and score here, the way our defense is playing, I like our chances. Yeah, it seems like the defense is coming out to play tonight and our offense is starting to be a little bit stagnant. That's most of the time what's better is when we, we excel on the offensive side, I feel like that could really help us out. Well, you know, I mean, I, I don't think it's it's a mystery. Our offense has, has, has played very well all year. They've been the, the better part of our team. I mean, um, defensively, we're, we're trying to find our niche still, and, and we're playing a nice game here today. So that's, that's a good positive going into McKinley week. But you're right. Uh, the offense has been the 
the shining star of this team. So let's hopefully they can put something together here. Now Kutcher in motion. They're going to fake the handoff and they give it to Austin Kutcher. And he doesn't really get anywhere on that one. Yeah, what they're doing there, they tried to pull their guard and tackle, give a false key read, and then uh, hit Kutcher in the perimeter. But again, St. Vincent, St. Mary's pretty disciplined team, always in pretty good position. You know, it's just going to come down to, I think we gotta, we got to make some plays and take care of the football. We've done a nice job of that. Second and nine now, ball on the 40-yard line. We only have a minute and 20 seconds left of the third quarter. And it's a handoff to Tyree Broyles, I think that is. No. It's to the 50. Gosh. And they got a flag there. Yeah, you know, the young, young Jaden Ballard was doing a, having a heck of a block out there. Nice job. And then what you got to do is you see here, good block by Trayvon right here. Let go of him. You know, he's not going to make that play. Um, he's, he's just got to understand the situation. Once the guy starts to disengage from him, don't grab onto the jersey, because that's what the officials are always going to see. If you grab that jersey and you pull it on it, second down. You know, they're going to see that, and they're going to call that holding play. Yeah, now second and 11 ball on the 38 for the Tigers. Yeah, that was a big play right there. We had a first down on about the mid, uh, you know 50 yard line, so. Now four receivers. And ah. it's a fake handoff. Shoe strength tackle. So they had uh, Jameer in the, in the Wildcat there playing quarterback. And he's reading that backside end and end crashed a little, so he pulled, made the right, made the right play. They just St. Vincent St. Mary just uh, you know they did a nice, nice job read. Of, of, of sticking their paw out there and getting a piece of his uh, shoelace there, and making a shoe strength tackle. So third and ten, tough situation here against this defense. See if we can find a play. Three receivers, Longwell looking. And yeah. now he's got a run and slide there. Couldn't really find anything there. Yeah, he, you know, he had Trayvon Morgan was coming across the middle, but I, his eyes might not have been on that that read. Uh, Trayvon sat down pretty nice, but okay. So here we are. We're on a 40-yard line. That's the quarter. Now that'll be the end of the third quarter. Tigers 10. Irish six. Now we'll hear a word from Buell and Oliveri Insurance and Maslin Quick Print. One minute, you're out there living life to the fullest. The next thing you know, you've got sweeping changes to make and your family's future to think about. Talk to a Grange independent agent about how to save by putting all of your insurance with Grange, protecting your possessions and the ones you love. When things zig instead of zag. Buell and Oliveri Insurance is your Grange Independent Agent in Maslin. For auto, home, life, or business insurance, call or visit our website today. A Maslin staple for over 40 years, Maslin Quick Print is your one stop shop for all your printing needs. Before you shop the internet, come downtown to see Maslin Quick Print first. Experience their top notch customer service and offset printing capabilities. They also specialize in copy services, print media, brochures, invitations, and much more. Visit Maslin Quick Print on 1st Street Northeast in downtown Maslin. Thank you, Buell and Oliveri Insurance and Maslin Quick Print. Now Magnus Haynes punts it there, and they're gonna let it bounce, and Dean Clark grabs it there, gets him around the 30 yard line at the beginning of the fourth quarter. Games are won in the fourth quarter, Darren. Yeah. So, you know, we got a, we got a great battle going here and uh, got our third quarter stats coming. And it's been a defensive battle pretty much across the board. Yeah, it's a low score. This is one of the most low scoring games for yeah. the Tigers tonight. Jameer Thomas has 69 yards rushing. Terrence Keys for them has 115 yards. So, you know, we're, we're, we're getting some yards on the ground, but 
Not a lot of huge big plays. Making them work for it, so here we go. Here we go, Fisher gives it to Keys. And gets it to about the 35 it looked like. And now stopped. Yeah, we don't want to make any, you know, we want to want to be smart here. I don't know what's going on, a little extracurricular. Yeah. Be smart. Logan and I did a nice job working inside out in the inside backer position there. A little bit more on them stats, you know. Um, Aiden Longwell, four for 13, 29 yards. Probably his least efficient game all year. Um, he's a sophomore still. Again, St. Vincent St. Mary's a very good defense, so. I think there's a play or two left in there, though. Now Fisher looking to pass. Ah. Deep ball. And it's caught. And he gets stopped around the one yard uh, line there. There's a penalty here. Something. So. Looks like he's hurt there. Yeah. Looks like he's cramping. We got a flag. Hopefully this is on St. Vincent, St. Mary. I see everybody walking back this way. Looks like Jameer's push, uh, pointing that way. Let's see what the call is. Might go to something here. Holding. And just a reminder offense. that the holding on the offense. Wow. That saved us yeah. there. You know, they ran that play earlier. Do you remember? I don't know if you remember in the second quarter where uh, Austin almost picked that that little slant uh, yeah, they yeah. threw and he sort of dropped it. So what that was, that it was a little bit of the same thing. They ran a sort of what's called a bubble route by number two slanted number one but then instead of slanting him across the middle they went a ver they went vertical like a sluggo slant and go and uh austin got a little too aggressive fortunately for us call went our way we'll take it i yeah, think we enough. got an in we got an injury on the field over here so we got a stoppage in play now we will hear a word from expert auto collision Expert Auto Collision, located on Genoa Avenue in Maslin, has been serving Sark County for over 35 years with expert customer service and collision repair. Bring in your wrecked vehicle and they'll immediately get to work with you and your insurance company to get your vehicle back to pre-accident condition as soon as possible. Come see me, Tara, at Expert Auto Collision, the only female-owned and operated collision repair center in Northeast Ohio. Expert Auto Collision, we get good people by accident. Thank you, Expert Auto Collision. Yeah, thank you to all our sponsors. Um, really appreciate the sponsorships towards our WHS TV program and uh, media production. So second and a long 20, to what, 22, 20? Yeah, 22. Yards. We just want to keep everything in front of us. Oh. A very big hit there by Anthony Ballard, but... A nice pass by uh, Fisher, the backup quarterback. Yeah. He's, a, he's, he's, got, he's got a nice little arm on him. He's a good, good player. You know, the, what I've seen from St. Vincent St. Mary is they're pretty much solid across the board. Uh, obviously, we know that they're, they're running back. Terrence Keyes is their highlighted guy, but they got a lot of good football players. Big, big third and 11 here for the Tiger D. Three receivers on the right. Fisher back to pass. Looking, gets stopped quickly. Ball was a little too short there. Outstanding pressure up front there. I, I believe that time was... Uh, Ty Kearns, I think that's who got in there was Ty. Applying some pressure, made the quarterback step up, hurry that throw. That's what caused that, that throw to go uh, be an underthrow. If it wasn't Ty, I apologize to who it was, but somebody did a really nice job. Nice swim move up front to get in the backfield and disrupt that quarterback. And that's the key to, to the pass game. If you get pressure on that quarterback, you know, you're, you're going to win that game. Now fourth and 11. They're going to punt it here, it looks like.
Now they did this type of deal last time. They nah, it's just moved a around change on the punt a lot. And it looked like he he called for it, but yeah, he called for a fair catch. And I don't know what he's he's putting his hands up like he didn't do nothing, but he he did. He he made a quick little wave there, which is going to be. That's going to be a penalty. I don't think you can do that. I don't know if we can see that replay. Delay a game. All right. Receiving no replay. Uh, from what I saw up here, uh, Anthony, he waved his arm. Looked like he was calling for a fair catch. At least from here, that's what I. I yeah, it looked like he was calling for it, but. And then when he got it, you're not allowed to run it. Yeah. Hey, we still got decent field position, 30-yard line, 9:56 to go. We got to we got to muster up some first downs here, establish some more field position. Be beautiful to get a score, but they're gonna give it to Zion there. 29 with the football. Only gets a couple yards there. It's nice seeing him back on the field. Hey, good, th you know, good three, three and a half yards for Zion. He's looks like he's moving pretty well. Haven't really seen him cut much. You know, we know he's got a lot of, a lot of quickness to him. So, good now, start for the young sophomore. Now second and seven, ball on the 33-yard line, and gets stopped in the backfield. It looks like. Yeah, not much to that. Just, again, running a little bit of, yeah, they're, they're running a bunch formation there. Zion's coming off Gimpin a little bit. Uh, ankle might be flaring up on him again. These are tough situations for uh, for the offense. Third and seven, third and eight. Allows the defense to uh, really hone in on the passing game. Oh, hopefully we can make a play here. As you said, third and seven ball on the 33 yard line they got four receivers out there long well looking to pass gets a quick screen pass to austin kutcher but he cut towards the middle yeah it's a jailbreak screen it was a good little idea they just uh they they the second level defenders of uh st vincent st mary played it well and now we came up about three three and a half yards short got to pot it got to play d now fourth and four and as you said, they're going to punt the ball here. Magnus Haynes back to punt it off to St. Vincent St. Mary. We've got Leonard Younger back to. Oh, that hit him. He oh. dropped it. And now looked like he got to about the 20 yard line there. That could have been that could have been fatal. Yeah, that's, if the Tigers uh, could have got to it. It'd have been nice if we could have taken advantage of that. It looked like uh, we sort of slowed down and stopped in front of the the returner. You know, we didn't didn't want to overrun it. You know, fortunately for them, they had a guy back there to recover that ball. But you know, that that, that worked in our favor. Get, punt ended up going to about the 20 yard line. So great field position again for the defense here. Just got to be consistent, keep everything in front of us. Now first and 10 for St. Vincent St. Mary's. They're going to give it to Keys here and get stopped, gets a couple yards. Yeah, just run to the weak side and not, not a bad job by the Tigers. It's nice to see uh, number 17, Zachary Olson for St. Vincent St. Mary's. He looked pretty banged up on the sidelines a couple of plays ago, but he seems fine now back on the field. Fisher was under center. Now he gives it to Keys. Keys breaks away, gets the first down there. So what you got there, again, isolation. Logan Anania absolutely destroying the fullback on the front side of the play. I don't know what happened on the back side. We broke down probably backside end, stuck his nose inside too far. 
That's happened now about two or three times. Hopefully we can get that corrected. Now first and 10 ball on the 35 yard line. We have about seven minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Backside. And now fighting his way up. Gets a good eight, eight yards there. Yeah, we dialed up a little bit of pressure there. Again, point of attack, we're doing a nice job, but we got to be disciplined on the backside. And run, run flat down the line and, and not overrun things. I mean, we're doing that a little bit on the backside, so. Fisher under center. They have three receivers out there. And it looks like another Offsides on. I thought the we held up. I didn't. I did not think we crossed the line. But I, it looked like it was Jameer. We did. Yeah. Apparently we. Offsides. Defense. Sixteen. Five yeah, yard penalty. Second yeah. down. I thought he. Uh, it didn't look like he got out. Yeah. And, and stayed. But you know, all you got to do is, your helmet's just got to cross. You know, you know, one part of your body crosses that line. It's in, in high school football, and it's an offside. It's not like the NFL where you can jump across and come back. And they're going to give it to Keys. Gets a couple yards on that one. That'll bring up second down. Nice run, run game by uh, St. Vincent and St. Mary's tonight. Yeah, we got about six minutes to go here, Darian. You know, and the way these offenses have been playing, this is the the biggest threat here since that first drive of the second half for St. Vincent and St. Mary's. So. Important, important series here. Second and seven ball on the 49. Fisher under center. He's going to uh, keep it. Flat. And he gets it straight across the middle. Did he catch it? Yeah, it looks like backside drag yep. on a on a boot route. Yeah, there were about three Tigers about five yards in front Here's of him. Here's a replay here. You're going to see just, just a play action, just your typical counter boot play. Got the fullback in the flat, got the backside, inside receiver running a, a drag across the middle. And uh, well executed by St. Vincent, St. Mary. Now first and 10 ball in the 38, three receivers. They're gonna give it to Keys. Keys gets stopped quickly there. Yeah, nice job uh, actually that time by the backside end, number 26. And I'm not sure, I think that number 26 is um, for us. Uh, yeah, that's Ethan Tobin, that's what I thought. They must have changed his number. Yeah. Did a real nice job coming from the backside, flat down the line, and uh, not overrunning the play. Good job, Ethan. Trips to the left, they're looking to pass. Yeah. And that's Zachary Olson there. Yeah, just a little sit down route. Number one receiver out here. And he's playing a little bit too far off. Got to forget about it. You yeah. know, we get, they got to get in the end zone. Four minutes and 20 seconds left in this game, Darian. Yeah, now first and 10, ball on the 24 yard line. And they're going to give it to Keys. Uh. And Keys gets stopped, and they get the first thing goal now. I can tell that was going to be a positive play from the get go. Um, looks like we got a guy down here, Max Turner. Now we'll hear a word from Tower Industries.
No matter where you are in life, Stark State is the smart choice. The lowest tuition rate in the area, along with flexible schedules, online courses, and degrees that lead to in-demand careers or make it easy to continue your education. Small classes, professors with real-world experience, and a campus close to home. Plus, more than 95% of Stark State grads secure a job or continue their education. Choose Stark State College. Spend less. Earn more. Go further. Register now. We were with Ruth when she ran into trouble on her way to play bridge with her friends. We were with the Nelsons when they planned their vacation of a lifetime. We were with Tina when she saved on the prescription she and her family need. And we'll be there with you. AAA membership gets you this, plus savings at hotels, restaurants, stores, and attractions when you show your card. Already a member? Renew. Not a member? Join AAA at AAA.com or any nearby office. AAA, we're always with you. We are back now. Thank you, Stark State College and Tower Industries and Maslin AAA. Yeah, uh, it was uh, Max Turner's been playing a heck of a game. Tough to see him limping off the field. Hopefully he's all right. Now they give it to Keys here. Get stopped quickly. Well, we, I'll tell you what, Logan and I has played the isolation play in this second half as good as you could play it. And that time, uh, we got to got a bit lucky again. Backside, I don't know. The, I think that's Jameer. He's got a and he's going against that big boy. He's got to hold that edge, that that outside edge, because the backside it's uh, caving in. But again, great play by Logan. Second and nine. Yeah, I think that big guy you were talking about was number 77, Damian Palmer. Yeah, he's a big boy. And a quick screen pass there ah, to Jesus Walter. Too. And he just, just a two. touchdown. We're just now my assessment of that is that the ball's on the, the, the ten yard line were just too soft there. We we gotta be a little bit we gotta tighten up a little bit there. I mean they just throw a simple bubble pass and we have nobody uh, on the outside perimeter there. Our corners getting blocked. Tough play for him to try to make. And uh yeah, Tigers are Tigers are going to have to make a comeback here with 315. Darian, it's a pleasure always coming up here. I'm going to I'm going to hand over the the reins here at the end of the game here. Hopefully we get a Tiger comeback. It's good working with you again. And uh Go Tigers beat McKinley here after this one. Hopefully we can get the comeback. Nice right, work with later. you. All right. Now we'll hear a word from Friends and Flamely Credit Union. Welcome to our newly renovated downtown office of Friends and Family Credit Union. Hello, I'm Nick Langenfeld, President and CEO of Friends and Family Credit Union. Friends and Family Credit Union provides loans, savings, checking, and other financial services to anyone who lives, works, worships, or attends school in Stark County. We provide financial needs in the most reasonable and cost-effective way. Stop in one of our three full-service locations today and become a friend of the family. At veteran-owned Absolute Concrete of Maslin, we do it! Looking to replace that old worn-out driveway? We do it! Thinking about a new patio to entertain family and friends? We do it! Big jobs? Small jobs? Customer satisfaction and quality you've come to expect? We do it! So call veteran-owned Absolute Concrete of Maslin today! We are back here now. Thank you, friends and family, Credit Union and Absolute Concrete. The score here at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium is Tigers 10, Irish 13. This game quickly turned around from the Irish just now scoring late in the fourth quarter, and it could potentially mess the game up for the Tigers. There is three minutes and 12 seconds of ball left. So you never know, but let's see what the Tigers try to do here on offense. That's what they do best. So uh, let's see what we have going here. And they're going to hand it off to Jameer Thomas. Gets a quick spin move, gets a couple yards there. Thank you. 
now. The Tigers have all three of their timeouts here. So uh, if they play this game strategically, they'll be able to use their timeouts effectively. So now we have four receivers, twins on each side. Longwell back to pass. Looking, gets a cross field, and it's dropped by number 32, Adric Ford there. Now third and eight ball on the 32 yard line. The Tigers got to do something here. We cannot hand the ball back over to St. Vincent, St. Mary's. This is a dire play here, so let's see what's gonna happen. Aiden Longwell back to pass. Looking, turns around, looking, and it's too high there and that'll go out of bounds. That'll bring up now fourth down and eight. Quick four and out there. Now two minutes and 31 seconds left on the clock. Looks like the Tigers are gonna punt it here. Haynes is going to punt it. High punt. And a fair catch by Walter. Now the St. Vincent St. Mary's has the ball. Let's see what they can do with it. The Tigers got to do something on defense to stop St. Vincent St. Mary's quickly before they cross into the Tigers' own territory. So... Two minutes and 26 seconds left. Under center is Fisher. And they're gonna hand it off to Keys. Keys gets stopped there. Now two minutes and 19 seconds left. And Masson's gonna take a timeout here to stop the clock. Now we'll hear a word from Mercy Medical Center. Mercy comes to Massillon. Mercy Health Center and StatCare of Massillon is proud to introduce our Mercy Physicians. Pravi Pawa is certified by the American Board of Family Medicine. Lisa Vaughn is certified by the American Osteopathic Board of Family Practice. Both physicians are ready to provide immediate care of minor illnesses and injuries with no appointment necessary. Visit 2935 Lincoln Way West, Massillon, or call 330-236-2300. That's 330-236-2300. Hi, this is Bill Dorman from the Maslin Tiger Football Booster Club. Please support your Maslin Museum by supporting Issue 18. Issue 18 is a renewal of the Maslin Museum's one mil levy, which has been in effect since 1988 with a small half mil increase. We need the Maslin community to be all in and support Issue 18. Voting yes on Issue 18 will keep Maslin Tiger history for future generations. and a big thank you from, for Mercy Medical Center and Massey Museum. Now you just missed one play there. And here it is. Uh, Terrence Keyes ran it right up the middle here. Now it's uh, first and 10. Ball on the 49-yard line. Fisher under center. Only one receiver, or two receivers. And they give it to Keys again, and they run it up the line. Now only one minute and 45 seconds left. Clock is still running. Tigers have two timeouts remaining.
Now second and five, ball in the 44. Fisher under center. They're gonna give it to Keyes. And Keyes breaks a couple tackles there. And I think he got the first down. And he did. Now 50, 50 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Clock is still running. And now a timeout. And here's a word for Cosmos Grill. At Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin, they're just different enough. Cosmos Grill is located in a 150-year-old renovated historic building that features a wonderful dining atmosphere. Try their award-winning stone hearth wood-fired pizzas, or how about their tasty homemade soups? Enjoy a great meal featuring your favorite appetizers, salads, and desserts. And don't forget about their seafood, pasta, and sandwiches. So just how different is Cosmos? Just different enough. Visit Cosmos Grill in downtown Maslin. All right, thank you very much, Cosmos Grill. We are back here if you are just tuning in. The score is Tigers 10, Irish 13. There's only uh, 43 seconds left here on the clock. Kind of a scary position we're in at the moment, but we'll see what we can do in the next 40 some seconds. Fisher under center, and they're going to give it to Keyes. Keyes breaks up the middle, gets stopped. That'll bring up a first and 10. Now 34 seconds left. Timeout, Maslin now. All righty, guys, and here's a heads up for next week's game. Be sure to tune in next weekend when our Masson Tigers face their arch rival, the McKinley Bulldogs. Watch the replays on Sunday and Monday, October 29th and October 30th at noon or at 8 p.m. Then on Tuesday, October 31st at 8 p.m. Watch the Tigers take on the McKinley Bulldogs on WHS TV, channel 611 and 11 on MTTV. Help us celebrate WHS TV's 50th anniversary. Be sure to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Don't forget to subscribe to us on WHS TV's YouTube channel, where you can see some of WHS TV's best moments. Here we go. We only have 34 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. They're going to use the victory formation against us here. And they're going to call their last time out here with 32 seconds left. Okay, ladies and gents, if you want to get the latest news about your Mass and Tigers from our head coach, Nate Moore, on the Nate Moore Show, tune in every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. on MCTV channels 611 and 11. Don't miss the Nate Moore Show, brought to you each week by Reliable Heating and Cooling. Now, on the flip side, we also have a show for our beloved Mr. Neal. Don't miss Swing every Wednesday night featuring the Nate Moore Show on MCTV Channel 611 and 11. Get the latest news on the Massive Tiger Swing Band with director Jason Neal. Tune in for Swing, brought to you by Howard's Tiger Rags, Wednesday nights following the Nate Moore Show on MCTV Channel 611 and 11. Now St. Vincent St. Mary's is gonna kneel it here. Clock is running. 
And it looks like that's gonna be the end of the game here. They're gonna run the clock down. And yes, that'll be the end of the game here tonight at Paul Brown Tiger Stadium. And as we wrap up tonight's coverage of the Massillon Tiger football, we want to take the time to thank the members of our WHS TV crew. Tonight's production crew includes Ryan Dugan, Morgan Cress, Caitlin Conley, Evan Orlando, Nick McCartney, Lindsay Mays, my color commentator, Kira Sheely, and myself, Darian Washington. And a big thank you to our, our adult directors, Mr. Farrell and Mr. Dewald. Thanks for watching, and always, as always, go Tigers. How's your home? Safeguard knows, and you can too. Wherever you are, day or night, whatever you're doing, Safeguard Home Security is professionally monitoring your home 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can check on your home from anywhere at any time on your smartphone, tablet, or computer. The Safeguard app makes it easy to put your mind at ease. Safeguard Security from MCTV. Your home is just fine. One way up, no way out I give it all, all for the family We stay up, no bailouts Give it all, all for the family